Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to create a mood board using Adobe Illustrator for your project. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Adobe Illustrator. Once the program is open, go up to File and choose New. In this new document box, go up to Print and we're going to choose View All Presets and find A3. You're going to make sure that it's landscape over here. We're going to give it a title, say mood board, and then click create. All right, once you've got your A3 landscape document, go up to file and then click place. And here is where you're going to choose all of your research that you've done. So I've got my avatar folder here and my research inside a research folder. To paste them into our artboard, I'm going to click the first one, hold down shift and then click the bottom one so that now they're all selected. I'm going to tick off link because I just want to embed them straight onto the file rather than having them linked and then choose place. Now they'll sit on your cursor like that we can see it says one out of six so I'm just going to click hold and drag and start to make uh, start to put them on the screen roughly making them the same size as we go and I'm doing this by using those guide marks that come up. See the, the pink ones? Cool. But if I think that these are too big or too small, you can always click on your image and then holding down shift. Holding down shift is very important because it constrains the proportions of the image. Hold down shift and then just drag it to make it smaller or bigger. Try to not put your images right up to that top corner because otherwise if you want to print them it will cut a bit of your image off. So just give it a little bit of breathing space around the outside there. Say that we want to add a title that says mood board on this document. We're going to go up to the type tool here, click it and then I'm just going to click once and then I'm going to type mood board, make it bigger uh, we can see over here in properties, I can adjust the size of the font here. And I think we can do better than Myriad Pro. Maybe you've had another font that you've downloaded. And if you have, you can watch um, another video to show you how to install that onto your machine. I'm going to choose a font that I have already downloaded. There we go. And you can also change the color of your text with the little fill icon here. Maybe I'll choose something similar to these kind of blues, bluey greens that are coming up. Cool. Keep in mind while making your mood board that you want it to look visually pleasing and that's usually by having it in a grid system so everything kind of looks like it lines up nicely to each other. And to line things up just use those pink lines. And there you have it, that's how you can use Illustrator to create your own mood board.